So this is a bit of a silly question. We're going to go through it anyway, though. A firm issues a bond with a coupon rate of 5% when the market rate of interest is 5.5% on a bond of comparable risk and terms. One year later, the market interest rate increases to 6%. Bum, bum, bum. Based on this information, the effective interest rate is either A, 5%, B, 5.5%, or C, 6%. It's one of the three, right? Well, you probably can guess that it's not going to be A. That was the coupon rate, right? So this is uh, this is a coupon rate of 5%. We know that that's not the effective interest rate, all right? And the effective interest rate is what we're talking about for the bond. And so this question's trying to mix you up by throwing extra things in there to say, oh, well, do you know if we, you know, if it's trying to throw in extra things in here to try to confuse you. It's saying, well, well, would it change the problem if the car you parked outside was pink? When it, the question, that it doesn't relate to it. So the 6% doesn't matter. We issued the bonds when it was 5.5%. That is the effective interest rate. That is what matters. So the correct answer is B.